Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BSP Self Learning Video Broadcasting Solution. I am a click the subject matter expert and today I am going to talk about on a topic on data blending in click. So first of all, let's understand what is a data blending. So there can be a common situation in business intelligence that we have a different data in different data sources. It could be that you have several data system within your company or that you have some data in an Excel spreadsheet in addition to the data in your database. In any case, I, won't, I would like to load the data from several sources and view them in coherent way. This is sometimes referred to as merging data or blending data. This is known as data blending. Now the data is joined on common dimensions. Data blending does not create row level joints. Basically data blending, instead of that data blending should be used when you have related data and multiple data sources that you want to analyze together in a single view. So let's see how to perform data blending in ClickView. So for this I have prepared two data sets, one is in Excel, one is in now one of my data set is in Excel sheet. I would like to I would like to display data from both the data set into ClickView. So let's see how to perform this. So first of all, let's see what type of data I'm going to use it. So I have a go sales data set over here and in this I have sales staff. So here I have few dimensions like sales staff code, first name, last name, positions, work phone, extension, fax and sales branch code. And I have a data file data set over here, sales staff updated. So this contains rows like sales staff code, province, region and join date. So as you can see here in both the data set we have a common column that is a sales staff code. So based on this I would like to display the data from both the data set into a common data set in ClickView. So let's see how to perform this in ClickView or how to perform a data blending in ClickView. So first of all let me create a new application ClickView document basically. So I'm going to create a sample application over here. Now the Let's see how to load the data into a data set into a click view. So I click on edit script over here. You can click over here also or you can go to file or click on edit script or you can use the shortcut also control plus E. So I click on edit script and I, what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to load the excess data set over here. So to perform this I'm going to select OLEDB, click on connect. here. Microsoft Jet 4.0 OLEDB provider because we are going to connect to a MS Excel data set. Click on next. Here we need to select the data set. So I select the database over here. Go sales.mdb and click on test connection. And click on OK. So as soon as I click on OK you can see over here there is a connection string over here. So it indicates the data has been connected. Now the data has been connected. We now we'll be going to load the data file over here. So I click on select over here and from here I'm going to select dim save staff database table and click on OK. You can see over here the query has been generated automatically and I click on save and reload it. Once I reload it you can see the 60 lines have been fetched, the record has been fetched over here click on close ok now I would like to display the data in the form of a table box or a data table so I right click new sheet object and a table box and in table box I would like to show sales staff code first name last name position that's all and apply so you can see over and ok you can see over here the table box has been created with few columns like we have sales staff code, first name, last name and position. Now as you can see here this data set and this Excel data set has a common field sales staff code. So we would like to merge these two data sets into one. So how to do that? For, uh, for this again I click on edit a script and here I click on table files, select the data set from here, data file click on open, embedded labels and finish. So once I've done this, 
click on save and reload it close it and I would like to display the data from another data set also so I right click on this properties and here I am going to add joining date province and region I do not want this okay and click on OK. So you can see over here the columns have been added over here joining date, province and region. So this is how to perform a data blending in Clicky. So as you can see here that one, two, sales staff code, first name, last name, position, these columns are from data set one. Joining date, region and province they are from data set two and they are merging the data set into one table box and we can see the data set uh, we can see the records over here I hope you are able to understand what is the data blending in click view I will be coming up with some new videos in my new, sorry I will be coming up with some new topics in my new videos if you have any queries or if you have any questions you can send an email to us on www.bsp20.com you can visit our website or you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos have a nice day ahead bye bye